it might be hard to kind of like rework his brain on how he thinks Call of Duty should be played because mm -hmm. he just looks very uncomfortable on the map. We are at a point where like you don't have time, right? You you need to be performing at your best. But Vivid did get benched from LAG and he really didn't get any actual practice. It's not like he competed yeah. in challengers. You know, the only way he could play the game is in eight. And from what I know, they don't even happen that consistently. So, you know, he could be a little bit rusty kind of getting back into the swing of things. But if anything, I think it just goes to show more on the issues with Dallas in general. I don't think it's just him. I think the team just isn't isn't there. They're not on the on the same page at this point in time. And, and it showed. But I definitely was hoping that he would have performed a little bit better um, because I want this Dallas team to do well. And right now, they just don't look like they're that, that good of a team, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with what Ian just said. I, it's a solid pickup, of course. Vivid was playing well for LAG. They dropped him for whatever reason they needed to, teamwork, whatever, whatever it may be. But he has had time off now, and his debut wasn't great. He played okay, but he's in a, he's in a spot where the team itself just doesn't look fantastic. And... When I watched them play, I was looking for some sort of spark, something different to bring them back to that super high level that we saw them at before, and we just didn't get it. It was extremely underwhelming for me, this Dallas team, right? So I looked at it like, as soon as they played and they won that match three to two, I was like, this doesn't feel like a team that's going to be competing for championships to me. That's It didn't, it never, right. and I know it's the first week, blah, 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 but oftentimes, we kind of gas how long it takes for people to start looking good. Like you, people make these changes and all of a sudden they're kind of gross, right? Like it doesn't take that long. It might take long for us to fully put the stamp on it that they're disgusting, but you can kind of see flashes of it right away. And I just feel like we didn't see it. No, and I think you also, you have to start and not start because we have been, but you really have to start leaning in, I think, to Illy at this point too, because he always has a change. He, he goes back to AR. We talked about how maybe he just really wasn't comfortable in a sub role. But he's still kind of been, eh, you know, he's still been flat. I mean, in, in stage three, he was negative in all game modes. He, the uh, highest he had was a 0.92 in hard point. So, uh, yeah, I agree, Pac-Man. It, it's not just a, I think it's unfair to just focus on like a fellow or, or you know, a vivid at this point. You have to look at Illy. You have to look at what internal dynamics are happening. So, enabled, do you have hope there for them? Or do you think it's still just kind of, kind of be... Uh, you know, a whimper instead of a bang. I mean, I do have hope, Katie, but the thing is, mm -hmm. and I don't want to make excuses by by any means. I just think for Vivid and Illy, right? Those are the two guys who really kind of, I guess, broke out in MW. I think it was mm -hmm. unfortunate that they kind of broke out in that sort of Call of Duty, that 5v5 game, because I think that might have messed with how they interpret competitive cause should be played if that makes sense mm -hmm. um and I, I think you're kind of seeing that because you know cold war this is a way more fundamental based call of duty uh it's more of a call of duty like past ones you know i think mw is an outlier compared to any call of duty that i've ever competed in. yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm not trying to give them an, an excuse but i think especially for someone like illy who had so much success in modern warfare it might be hard to kind of like rework his brain on how he thinks Call of Duty should be played because mm -hmm. he just looks very uncomfortable on the map. But I, I think there is a chance. I don't know. I think for them to be successful, they're really going to have to buy in and, and listen to Krim. And I don't know if they're they're doing that at this point in time.